To start with, you have to remove all of the grease caps. There are five per lane, and they just unscrew with a large screwdriver. Okay, with these removed, we'll just put these out of the way. Next, we have to remove the locking caps. There are two flat locking caps and three hollow locking caps on the adjusters. So with the ones for the magnets, we need to just undo these. These can be very tight. So if you find like this, they're very tight, you'll need to use a, an adjustable wrench on the magnet to be able to open it. Support. So when we first start the gapping procedure, we're going to start with the L-shaped tool and we want this notch to stop as it goes into the platen. So we go into the middle and we wind the adjuster counterclockwise to raise the, the platen. You can now see this slides in but then stops at the notch. We're then going to move to the back corner. So we now come to the rear corner and we do the same. Okay, so just, just in there and it just stops. And then we come to the third corner and repeat the same process. Okay, so we're now there with this. So the next step of gapping is to set the reed switches. The reed switches are used for product recognition. So we're going to put the gapping tool in, or the adjuster tool. We'll turn it until we get it located. And now we're going to wind them clockwise until they start beeping. Okay, so we now have the beep. We're now going to go anti-clockwise until it stops. Okay, now we have to do an additional one and a quarter turns anti-clockwise. So one and a quarter. Okay, we now do the same to the rear. If you don't do one and a quarter and you only do one turn or less than one turn, you run a risk of having a platen jam error. Okay, so now anti-clockwise. one turn and a quarter. Once you've done that process, we can now press the green button and the grill is gonna calibrate and check it. If that's successful, the grill will be completely gapped. So when the grill reaches a set temperature, the plan is gonna come down and it's gonna perform the auto calibration. It's gonna be a three step. You'll see the plan make three very distinct movements. The first movement is to reference the lower limit switch. The second movement is to reference the rear reed switch, and the third movement is to reference the front reed switch. It must activate in that order, in that sequence, or it will fail calibration. Each of those movements must not exceed 200 mils from the last position. Gap. We're going to put.